Hey guys, this is Mark. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate a new feature we just released in Backendless version 5.1.0 called Mobile Landing Pages. This feature allows anyone to create web presence for your mobile application uh, with minimal effort. What we did is we added a content management system, a rather specialized content management system right into Backendless. So you can generate a web a page, a mobile landing page for your mobile application. To start using this feature, all you need to do is log in to your backendless console and then switch to the manage section and select landing page section. Uh, the interface uh, is rather easy to use. It consists of uh, several sections. There is a top navigation. There is a, a collection of templates that you can choose from. And there are forms to fill out the content for your uh, landing pages. The way this works is you can select uh, a particular template. Once you identify the one that you like, uh, as far as the style and the look and feel, then you can start adding the content and modify uh, the look and feel of it with images, backgrounds, and so on. Before you select a particular template, you can preview any one of them by using the preview links right here. You can see there is a preview link. Uh, and I'd like to say that there are two uh, sets of these templates. There are pre-launch templates, which are uh, specifically designed for any mobile application that is being worked on that is not released yet but you want to have some sort of web presence for your mobile application just to announce that an application is is coming up but it is not released yet however once you release then uh, you can switch to a template that is in the launched app templates group uh, once you click a preview uh, the preview of that template opens up uh, all the uh, and then as far as these previews they are really hard-coded, but you can customize a bit once you start building out the content. So if you go with a launched template, let's click Preview, and you can see that this template contains a main title, subtitle, links for your app in the App Store. There is a section for features, uh, gallery, testimonials, uh, your uh, team, uh, contact information. So all of this can be customized. And then these templates are, are rather different. So if you go with this one, you'll see that it has a rather different uh, look and feel. So uh, as far as customizing these pages, it's, uh, it's very easy. You just start working with, uh, with this uh, fields. And uh, if you go into specific sections, uh, such as features here, you can uh, add the image of your feature, the title, the description, and then just start adding additional blocks to uh, describe any given feature. So as you can see in the top navigation, these sections, they correspond to a specific section within the actual landing page. If you don't want any given section to be included in the, in the page, then you can just exclude it by using this toggle right here. These toggles are available on all the sections. If you're wor working on an app that is not released yet, then and you select such a template, then these sections do not apply because uh, they provide information that is going to be more detailed. However, nothing precludes you from selecting a launched app template and then still provide the information even though the app may not be available yet. So let me demonstrate just uh, with a few tweaks to any given template as to how this particular uh, customization uh, may work. So let's pick this particular launched app template uh, called Endless. Uh, as you can see, the name of my app is Chat App. So let's imagine that this is going to be a chat mobile application. So let's say that the app name is going to be Cool Chat. And the title is going to be Amazing Chat for Everyone. And the subtitle is going to be Chat with your friends anytime. So now we can uh, save or publish. So save essentially grabs whatever the changes that you made and saves it in Backendless. Nothing is published yet. It's your page 
is not updated. If you click publish, then it does both save and publishes the template so it can start to uh, be visible from your backend application. Let's just click publish. You will see this pop-up that says that uh, all the data, all the files are going to be deployed into your application and uh, the file, that the main file, is going to be index.html. If you already have one in there, it will be overwritten. So if you have this file already in there, you uh, might want to do a backup of this file. So click Publish. So now the page is published, and uh, we can click Yes to open this page. So right here, we see that this is, uh, this is what the template is looks like there is no background image because we didn't specify one and then all the other sections at this point are going to be empty simply because we haven't provided that information so let's do some additional customizations to give the background image and perhaps the icon for your app so here as far as the background image let's select one let's say with some clouds And also we, uh, let's save this information, and let's add also an icon for your app. The icon is configured uh, right on the main, main dashboard. We have already had this section right here for the icon of the app. Let's select one as well. So this is gonna be the app icon. And uh, if you already have an app that is published in the App Store and put the URLs right in these fields, then this information is gonna be picked up by the template. So if we go back to landing page and publish it again, and let's take a look at this application now. So now we have the background image and notice that there is an icon right there in the menu. So going with this approach, you can start customizing it and give it exactly the look and feel that you want. Uh, all the information, all the files uh, that make up your page are going to be available in the files section. So if you go into files and then web directory, you'll see there is index.html and there is landing page directory that contains all the content for your landing page. Of course, once the page is published, uh, you might want to have it accessible through a domain name because uh, by default the URL looks rather long, which is the standard URL for any file within the file system. In order to give the custom domain, we would need to go to the app settings and select the custom domain option. And since we have a chat app, uh, there is a domain that we have uh, reserved called chattingplanet.com and click save. So now this domain is linked to the web directory of our web application. And now if we go back to the browser and type in chatting planet, and notice that this particular landing page opens up for your domain. Thus, you can create a mobile landing page for your custom domain and it will be served directly from Backendless. Uh, this makes it a very, very powerful feature because the amount of information that you can instantly deliver to your potential users of your app uh, becomes very easy. All you need to do is just fill out all these forms uh, provide the information, screenshots, uh, uh, describe you know testimonials or any quotes from the actual users. You can define the team and uh, that makes up the development team of your app. Uh, provide the contact information and all of it will become instantly available as the mobile page for your application. Once something to note about the contact section in here, there is an email address. So the landing page will provide a form that users can use to send email to you, to the app developer. And in order to in enable this feature as far as the email, what you will need to do is to go to app settings and select email. And then here you would need to provide your email configuration for your mail server. And that will enable the email delivery uh, from your mobile page. Uh, give it a try, play with it. Uh, whenever the page is generated, something else to note, if you go to files, and go to web, you can uh, edit your index.html. Everything is in here. You may want to optimize it. You can do some additional tweaks. Keep in mind that next time when you click publish, that file will be overwritten. So any changes that you make in index.html as far as customizations, you would need to make a backup copy of it uh, just so you can preserve those changes and then reapply them later on. But uh, outside of that, everything uh, works really out of the box. 
So uh, we look forward to seeing what kind of mobile landing pages you're going to create for your apps, and uh, especially since it is very, very easy to generate this kind of content and start creating a web presence for your mobile application. Thanks, guys. Hope you will enjoy this feature, and as always, happy coding.